and welcome to What the Thought. Today we're in Tudor Street in Exeter and this amazing building is Tudor House. We'll be finding out about its history, when it was built and who lived here. But first, if you're enjoying these videos, it'd be a great help to us if you're able to subscribe to the channel. Tudor Street is located to the southwest of the city walls, down near the river floodplain, near the site of the medieval X Bridge, which features in one of our other videos. This was an industrial part of the city, with leet-powered mills and other businesses connected to the cloth industry, including a dye house. The name Tudor House is misleading. It was not built in the Tudor period. The name refers to a Mr. Tudor, the most likely person to have built the house, and the name eventually became Tudor House, with this street also adopting the name. The house is most likely to have been built in the 1660s, although some say it dates to the 1630s. It is a four-storey, double-fronted building and the only surviving historical structure on the street. The house is timber framed with the ground floor made of stone and brick was used in the side walls. Before this postcard was painted, probably in the late 19th century, the whole front of the building was covered in slate. Most of this was removed in 1820, just leaving the slate on the first floor. This cut slate covering the first floor also includes three coats of arms in wreaths. The right-hand crest shows the coat of arms of the Leach family, representing Elizabeth Leach, who married the owner John Gubbs in 1670. The middle coat of arms is that of the Gubbs family, and the left-hand coat of arms is of the Northmore family, owners in the 18th century. By the time this photo was taken in the early 20th century, the house had seen many changes in ownership. Thomas Smith and his sisters had to sell the house in the 18th century because of debt. The house was also sold by auction in 1902 for £225 and sold again the following year for £147. The building was used mostly for commercial purposes until it was finally purchased and restored in 1964. Bill Lovell spent £60,000 restoring Tudor House in the 1960s, a vast sum of money at the time. He sourced old timbers from buildings that were being demolished to replace the rotten ones within the structure, and he also sourced old nails, old window panes and peg slates from old stock to place into the building. These expenses nearly bankrupted him, and he offered the sale of Tudor House to Exeter City Council in 1975. Unfortunately, they refused. It was subsequently sold for £60,000 and turned into a restaurant. In 1994, it was converted back into a private house and it still is today. Between 2005 and 2007, excavations were carried out at number 7 Tudor Street. Tudor House is number 6. These excavations exposed a house of the same date as Tudor House, as well as a fulling mill for cloth, a later stables and a warehouse of a brewery. The finds from this site include pottery such as imported Vestavold, Delfwares and Majolica, as well as clay pipes. These kind of objects would have been used in the Tudor house. It's amazing that this building has survived, largely thanks to the dedicated restoration by Bill Lovell in the 1960s. And it's now an important part of this area of Exeter. Thanks for watching and if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope to see you soon.